Hey there YouTube, good evening. Today I want to talk about food smuggling. In my mind and in my opinion, I think it's going to happen eventually. I don't know in how long, but it's going to happen eventually. It's just my opinion. It is because we're slowly turning into a socialist nanny state. The government wants to control us. They want us to be their little robots. They want to control everything what we do, including what we put in our mouths. Let me talk about Obamacare, for example, for a second. Um, before Obamacare, people were paying cheaper rates for health insurance. Uh, they were okay as far as what their rates were. But underneath Obamacare, rates went through the roof. Why is that? It is because, by law, insurance companies cannot deny you insurance based on your pre-existing conditions and the insurance company has got to make money so they got to raise rates to compensate for that if they cannot deny people insurance based on their pre-existing conditions they're gonna to have to raise rates to make money to cover their own ass and as a result of rates going up employers are doing health assessments on their employees to make, the, make, to make sure their employees are in decent shape. If they're going to have to pay more in insurance for a person that's unhealthy, uh, that's that costs the company money. And then you got uh, Michelle Obama who's controlling um, the school lunch programs at schools, controlling what the kids eat. Then you got these assholes like Bloomberg in New York who was trying to control the soda sizes at restaurants and establishments or selling in general I don't know yeah we're slowly turning into a socialist nanny state and and I think food smuggling is going to be commonplace in the future because the government may deny you purchase of certain items based on your health Let's say you were a lifelong long smoker and you, and you got lung cancer and you're dying for a cigarette and you go someplace for cigarettes, the government may deny you purchase of those cigarettes because of your health. Or let's say you're dying to have a T-bone steak or you're dying to have a potato chip or you're dying to have a candy bar. If you have pre-existing conditions, the government may deny you purchase of those items. And if the government denies people purchase of, purchase of, purchases of those items, people are going to have to go to smugglers. Let's say a bag of chips at Walmart costs $2.50. If you buy from a smuggler, they'll be 5 bucks. Let's say you want a T-bone steak, and, and at Walmart, T-bone steaks, are, maybe they cost 10 bucks. If you buy from a smuggler, that T-bone steak may be 20 bucks. Let's say you want a candy bar. Um, usually at most convenience stores, candy bars cost uh, $2 for the king size. And if you're buying that king size candy bar from a smuggler, you would be paying 4 bucks, maybe even 5 bucks. And I think it's going to be commonplace in the future, in my opinion, because the government wants us to be their little robots. They want us... They want to control everything. They want to control what we do, including what we put in our mouths. And if you want to leave an opinion, leave it in the comment section below. I really would love to see your opinion. Thank you. Good evening. Bye-bye.